Hey everyone, this is Nahian and in this video I'm gonna talk about CMake. So before I introduce you to CMake, let me let me just write a basic um, C program and let me show you how we're going to be compiling it. So the main goal is to build a C program. So I'm gonna write a C program here. So I'm gonna call it main.c and it's going to be very basic. So it's going to be just a hello world program and I'm just gonna print hello world with a new line and uh, I have to compile it so the thing is that the file is in this uh, folder called ninja uh, and what I can do is excuse me I have to I have to go into this um, directory and what I can do is I can call the compiler and ask it to compile this uh, C program for us and make an executable so the way I'm gonna do this is I'm going to be using Clang. By the way, in macOS, if I use GCC, uh, I, can, I can ask for the version, and it's gonna show that it's Apple Clang. Apple actually uh, masks GCC with Clang, so if you call GCC, Clang is gonna call eventually, so that's what they did. So we are going to be using Clang, but we're but the command is GCC. It's misleading, I know. Anyway, so what I can do is I can call GCC, and I can pass the main file, main.c file, and I can ask it to give me an output called, I don't know, main. And if I run this, we get an executable. Uh, this executable is uh, created after compiling this main.c file. So I can just run the main.c file, excuse me, the main executable, and it's gonna do as we expected. Uh, you know, that is printing hello world to the screen. So let's say you have 10 or 20 uh, C or C++ uh, files, and this comprises your, these files comprise your program. And this can get very tedious. I mean, you have to compile all the files and form an executable. And maybe you can, you can have dependencies like maybe libraries. And um, you can imagine that, that this command, which is very short right now, can get very long. And you don't want to uh, worry about running this command in you know, various uh, environments uh, because of issues with other operating systems. So the thing is that you, you have to automate it in some way. So this is where a build system comes uh, into action, comes into the scene. So one of the you know, most amazing build systems is uh, Unix Make. And we have um, a newer one in the, in the scene called Ninja. So what Ninja is that it is it's a build system and it's very oh man I have to type build system for this uh, and, and, and it's focused on speed and it's very small. So let me let me show you how to compile this uh, file using Ninja. So I'm gonna I actually went to the manual and I want to write my, our own Ninja files. So what this Ninja file is is essentially going to hold a recipe for building our program so i'm gonna just copy the base you know the syntax example and i'm gonna edit it to our needs so as you can see they actually named it build.ninja and we're gonna name it the same in a, for our project so i'm just gonna call it build.ninja and i'm gonna paste it in and what and what this um whole recipe is going to do is is going to take a foo.c uh, file and it's gonna build foo.o file so that's not exactly what we want we want a main executable we want an executable named main and we want to compile it uh, from main.c and the command is actually gcc some flags well we don't need flags and and, and it's gonna uh, create a create an object file so we don't we don't actually want that we want GCC to create an executable. So removing that flag essentially creates uh, an executable. So it's going to take an input. The input is whatever we placed in the rule. So this is like a function. This uh, this CC takes main.c and this is exactly what the input is. And the output is essentially what we want to output it as. So we want to up output it as uh, main, just plain main. And if I save this and and run Ninja here, by the way, by the way, you need to have Ninja installed in your system to be able to run this. Uh, it's saying that there is a syntax error. It's not expecting end of file here. So let me create a new line. 
and if I run this again you can see that um, it ran successfully and if I if I delete this um, oh man if I delete this delete this executable and I run this again you can see that this executable is created by ninja and uh, is working properly so in summary this build automation system is very useful when you have a complex project and even for simple projects you don't have to worry about all these commands uh, because they are filled in for you you don't have to remember um, what you ran previously uh, or what you run usually because this whole thing is going to be filled out for you ninja is gonna do it for you so that's the point we have a rule and it's called CC you can name your rule anything you want I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep it as CC here and the command is G this GCC thing so the command that we ran manually is now gonna be handled by ninja and all we are asking ninja to do is build a main an executable named main and using the command CC and we're gonna pass main.c as an input and main is the output so this is exactly what it's gonna do and you know the teaching you ninja is beyond the scope of this video all I'm trying to do is show you how we're gonna we're we can be using various tools for doing the same thing that is compiling or building our project so and our project comprises a single executable so the problem with ninja and other build tools is that they're pretty specific so you, you have to write the specific commands and this can break down in other environments or other systems so as you can see we are using gcc here and um and th th this can this can be a problem because you may be using microsoft c compiler uh, on windows or maybe clang on mac or maybe a any other compiler that you want so if you want your program to be compiled by everyone on most uh, environments um, you want a build automation tool such as CMake and this is where CMake comes into the scene. Uh, CMake is actually at a pretty higher level than Ninja or Unix Make. Uh, it's because all you have to tell CMake to do is what you want and CMake is gonna generate the commands for you and with Ninja you have to tell the commands. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, look into CMake. So let's say I want to um, use CMake to create an executable because uh, CMake can be used for doing a lot of things so I'm gonna go to examples I'm gonna pretend that I don't know anything so I'm going to copy as you can see this uh, program excuse me this example comprises a CMake file so I'm gonna create this file so I'm assuming that CMake uh, is working will work just like Ninja uh, in the sense that it holds all the instructions instructions in a file so I'm going to be copying this very basic example CMake file and paste it in and as you can see this is the minimum version required it's just like English and I'm gonna call this project this is the name of the project I'm gonna remove the com comments uh, just to make it less uh, cluttered so I'm gonna call the project I don't know main because this program's executables name is main why not so there's no subdirectory here so what I want to do is I want to include I want to add an executable to this project so I'm gonna you know just by googling I went to the manuals page for adding an executable so what this executable add executable command does is that is gonna take the name of the executable that we want to create and these things are uh, you know optional and the main thing that we need are the sources the sources which are going to be used for creating and for creating this executable so I'm gonna take the add executable by the way I'm using v uh, an extension for CMake in VS code you can use a uh, similar extension uh, for your text editor um, so I'm gonna write you know call this command I'm gonna say that I want an executable called I don't know let's make make it different this time let's call it full and the source files by the way as you can guess these are comma se excuse me space separated white space separated so there's no example here but um, I think this is good enough uh, I, can, I can google further for examples but I don't think we need it this time so I'm gonna call this uh, main.c because our file is main.c so all this is gonna do is that this this is going to add an executable 
recipe to our project and this executable is going to be called foo and it's going to be compiled from this main.c file and by the way you can be having multiple uh, files multiple source files uh, for creating a single executable but we have one in this case so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be um, doing this I'm going to be building our project using CMake so what CMake is going to do is CMake is going to be using CMake is going to be generating a build system file and the generator can be picked by us so we're going to be using ninja for this so let me show you so I'm going to be calling CMake and saying that all right so the current directory which is indicated by the dot holds the CMake file so what CMake is going to be doing is that it's going to go check in the current directory the directory can be anything you can be using relative or absolute um, path and uh, right now I'm using dot which indicates the current directory and all I'm saying is that the current directory holds the CMake file so it's going to be finding the CMake file and the build folder by the way you can be using CMake help and you're going to be getting all the information so so we're gonna be specifying a build directory excuse me so I'm gonna be specifying a build directory let's call it build well, let me give you guys give it a space and uh, in the help you, you can see that they actually provided a list of generators that are available in our platform so the default one is unique make files uh, but I'm going to be using ninja so I'm going to be specifying the generator using the G flag as you can see from <coughs> excuse me <coughs> see from <laughs> taking a while all right so here is the G flag and it's for specifying a build system generator so what this is gonna do is CMake is gonna take the recipe which is in the CMake file and it's going to be building or generating build system files so in this case we're going to be specifying ninja and let's see what happens so as you can see there's a build file and it's saying that the build files have been written to the build uh, directory because we specified the directory as build and what this is gonna do is that there are plenty of files but the main file uh, is the build.ninja and it's just like the uh, build.ninja file that we created obviously it's much longer and we shouldn't be editing editing this because it's explicitly written uh, that we should not be editing this and all this is doing is that it's going to be taking the main.c file um, if I can find it here, it's going to be taking the main.c file and it's going to be compiling this as an executable and this is all generated all by CMake. We don't have to worry about this at all. So the gener build files are created but not our executable. So to build our project using the generated build files we have to ask CMake to build this and we're going to be specifying the directory where, where the build files are so this the build files are in build directory this is getting confusing I guess but uh, you can see what, what this will do in a while and it all is saying that we created it created an executable called foo and in the build directory there, there is an executable called foo uh, that, that has been created right now so we can excuse me <laughs> we, can, we can drag it in we can we can drag the executable in our terminal and we can hit enter to run this so as you can see this prints exactly what we wanted hello world and let's say we changed our mind we want to create a library we want to compile this whole thing as a library not an executable so what we can do is you can guess add a library and and I, I can check the manual for this add library and let's see what kind of arguments this is gonna take so it's gonna take a name it's gonna take what it's gonna take the type of library that we want to create so it's going to be either static or shared or a module so I'm just gonna say that it's going to be a shared library so I'm gonna paste it in and then we can exclude from we, we don't have to worry about this and then we have to paste the sources and you can see the triple dot indicates that we can have many source files uh, for a single library and this makes sense but we have only a single source file so let, let's do the same but th this time I'm gonna run the commands uh, together I mean in one in one line so um, all that by the way ignore this this is just a warning we have to provide the RPAD but uh, right now it doesn't really matter 
so you can see that we have a libfoo dot dilib dynamic li link library uh, and w which is exactly what we wanted we wanted a shared library which is also called a dll in windows and uh, this is this uh, this is exactly what we ask CMake to do so you can see that we don't have to worry about the commands for generating a shared or a static library or an executable or anything w what we just did is what we wanted to create we just uh, shared that we just told explicitly w what we wanted and CMake actually managed everything so right as you can see now we have a libfoo.a a is actually uh, an extension for static fi static libraries so we just create a, a static library this time and we could be we could be creating a module so let's see what this does so this is a shared object uh, also called a module so as you can see we can do whatever we like by the way we can be having excuse me not add project we can be adding an executable called full from main.c and let's see uh, the thing is that uh, there, there is a problem because because uh, there's another target with the same name and we can say foo2 that's to prevent a conflict and you can see that a project can have an executable or many executables many libraries you name it you want it thank you for watching and i'll get, see you guys in the next video